Hi, yeah. So I wanted to do a brush comparison between uh, the Series 7 uh, Winsor Newton brush versus two other brushes, two other Sable brushes that I really like, but are very different in price. They're all watercolor brushes. The Series 7 is known as a famous brush that professional inkers use. And this brush is actually quite expensive, I think, compared to other Sable brushes of the same size. And I think the main reason is because of its format. Um, it's a very optimized brush. You can see you get a lot of thickness variation, you can get a lot of really nice fine lines. But I think the biggest thing about this brush is that it holds so much ink. You can see like I didn't refill the ink at all, uh, coloring one third of the page. and. Uh, the only thing though that I notice with the Series 7 is that uh, from time to time you need to re-twirl it. Um, so you need to kind of twirl it to get a point from time to time, even if it's still holding some ink. Which I don't think is a bad thing necessarily. The next brush we're going to look at is the Cassart number 2. And that's the Sable brush by our uh, the closest thing that the UK has to a dick blick. It's called Cassart which is a, a chain of uh, art supply stores. And this brush is actually quite nice because it is uh, kind of chunky, not as chunky as the um, Series 7, but it holds a pretty decent point. Um, it's not the sharpest of the three. Uh, you do have to twirl it as well, but it's way cheaper. So it's a good entry brush if you want to try inking and have something reliable without breaking the bank completely. It also holds a very significant amount of ink. Uh, it can also feel a third of the page without any need for extra dipping. And I think for five pounds, it's a great price for this brush. And the last one we're gonna look at is the Handover number two Sable brush, uh, 66 series. So this brush, it has a clearly different shape. It is extremely sharp. Like I don't need to twirl this brush at all to get a point. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the other two brushes, I had to do it at least once. But the biggest downside with this brush is because it is thin at the bottom, it's lean all the way to the ferrule. So it doesn't hold as much ink as the other two. I had to refill the ink twice while trying to color one third of the page. So that's the only difference, but it's sharp as it can be. So I just felt like it would be nice to kind of show a comparison between the brushes, especially because the Series 7 is an excellent brush that you can get uh, small details and large sweeping thick to thin strokes. While I feel the handover can do very precise small strokes, while the cast art is good for the long sweeping ones, even if the precision is not as sharp as the handover. But the Series 7 can do it all just by itself. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much, and happy arting!